He heard the cry for help from the president of Ukraine and answered the call. Now a St. Cloud man is back from fighting in Ukraine and is sharing his story. 31-year-old Elias Partridge left his job at Amazon in St. Cloud to help the people of Ukraine fight for their freedom. He spent two months in the country. Wearing a Ukrainian army uniform, he worked with other volunteers from the UK and Europe who were also compelled to help Ukrainians hold their ranks. Our Reg Chapman spoke with Partridge about his time in a war zone. You've got nothing left but the 11 o'clock, right? Right. Elias Partridge's work here at Amazon is a world away from his time spent in Ukraine. Stage them nicely so that they look like in rows. A country he felt compelled to help. There's nothing else that the United States can't go. We can't, neither can the rest of NATO or Europe. Nobody can really put other boots on the ground, but the president of Ukraine asked for help, and I can help. All right, lane one. So he took a leave of absence from his job. I had a backpack. I put five pairs of clothes in there, um, a blanket, and my Amazon jacket. Okay, I hopped on a plane, and then trains and buses from Poland to, to uh, Lviv. He says he noticed right away the determination of the Ukrainian people. And there were crowds and crowds of people running around um, going to restaurants and laughing and listening to music and playing music in the streets. They just refused to be deterred from, their, from, from enjoying and living their lives. Elias did not know exactly what he was walking into. I thought I was joining the, the Foreign Legion. I was mistaken. Uh, I joined the actual army. But it soon became clear. There was an air raid siren the night before I left that absolutely was um, like there were actual planes you could see them everybody's um, buildings went dark so everybody had to go turn everything off um, go to the basements uh, the the shelters um, that was the night before I left Lviv on my way to do the capital city it was here he received his military ID kit and uniform I was in training for about two weeks um, my unit we were primarily um, support and there's still a lot going on. The unit is still active, so I can't get into all of the specifics. What he can say is he did face danger. He did see war and what it does to a people and their homeland. That's my unit. So it's the Special Operations Division um, called Even Bogun. Lots of complicated memories, yeah. Good and bad. Mm -hmm. In St. Cloud, Rich Chapman, WCCO 4 News. Elias is fluent in three languages, including Russian. His enlistment in the Ukrainian army was voluntary and expired the moment he left to return to the United States.